All right, so the example I'm going to show is uh, writing a code for uh, visualization. So I sometimes teach a class on transformers, which is a technology behind models like ChatGPT. And when you give a sentence to ChatGPT, it has to understand the relationship between the uh, words and so on. So it's a sequence of words and you have to model that. And transformers utilize what's called a self-attention to model that. So I always thought, okay, if I can visualize a self-attention mechanism and uh, with some interactive components to it, it will be really great. I just don't have the skills to do that. So let's ask our new model, O1 Preview, to help me out on that. So I just typed in uh, this command uh, and see how the model does. So unlike the previous models like GPT-40, it will think before outputting an answer. So it starts started thinking. As it's thinking, let me uh, show you what are some of these uh, requirements. I'm giving a bunch of requirements to think through. So first one is like, use an example sentence, the quick brown fox. And second one is like, when ho hovering over a token, visualize the edges whose thicknesses are proportional to the attention score. And that means just if the two words are more relevant, then have a thicker edges and so on. So the one common failure in most of the existing models is that when you give a lot of the instructions to follow, it can miss one of them. Just like humans can miss one of them if you give too many of them at once. So because this reasoning model can think very slowly and carefully, it can go through each requirement uh, in depth and that reduces the chance of missing um, the instruction. So this output code, let me copy paste this into a terminal. So I'm gonna use the, the editor of 2024. So vim html. So I'm just gonna paste this thing into that and just save it out. Uh, and on the browser, I'll just try to open this up. And you can see that uh, when I hover over this thing, it shows the arrows um, and then quick and brown and so on. And when I hover out of it, it goes away. So that's a correctly rendered um, version of it. Now, when I click on it, it shows the attention scores as just, just as I asked for. And maybe there's like a little bit of rendering, like it's overlapping. But other than that, it's actually much better than what I could have done. Yeah, so this model did uh, really nicely. I think this can be a really useful tool for me to come up with a bunch of different visualization tools for uh, my new teaching sessions. We're starting a series of new models uh, with the new name O1. And this is to highlight the fact that you might feel different uh, when you use uh, O1 as a, compared to previous models uh, such as GPT-40. So as others will explain later, O1 is a reasoning model. So it will think more before answering your question. We are releasing two models, O1 Preview, which is to preview what's coming for O1, <laughs> and O1 Mini, which is a faster, slow, smaller and faster model that is trained with a similar framework as O1. So we hope you like our new naming scheme, O1. <laughs> so what, what is reasoning anyway? Uh, so one way of thinking of reasoning is that uh, there are times where we ask questions and we need answers immediately because they're simple questions. For example, <clears throat> if you ask what's the capital of Italy, you know the answer is Rome and you don't really have to think about it much. But if you um, wonder um, about a complex puzzle or you want to write a really good business plan, or um, you want to write a novel, you probably want to think about it for a while. And the more you think about it, the better the outcome. So reasoning is the ability of turning thinking time into better outcomes, whatever the task you're doing. It's been going on for a long time, but I think what's really cool about research is there's that aha moment. There's that particular point in time where something surprising happens and things really click together. Are there any times for you all when there was, you had that aha moment? There was a first moment when the moment was hot off the press. We started talking to the model and people were like, wow, this, this model is really great and starting doing, doing something like that. And I think that there, there, there was a certain moment in our, in our training process where we trained, like put more compute in our world than before and train first of all generating coherent chains of thought. And we saw, wow, this, this looks like something meaningfully different than before. And I think, I think for, for me, this is the moment. 
uh, wow. I think related to that, so, uh, when we think about like training a model for reasoning, one thing that immediately jumps to mind is you could have humans write out their thought process and train on that. Um, when aha moment for me was like when we saw that if you train the model using RL to generate and hone its own chain of thoughts, it can do even better than having humans write chains of thought for it. And that was an aha moment that you could really scale this uh, and explore models reasoning that way. For a lot of the time that I've been here, we've been trying to make the models better at solving math problems, as an example, and we've put a lot of work into this, and we've come up with a lot of different methods, but one thing that I kept, like, every time I would read these outputs from the models, I'd always be so frustrated that uh, the model just would never seem to question what was wrong or when it was making mistakes or things like that. But one of these early uh, O1 models, when we trained it and we actually started talking to it, we started asking it these questions, and it was scoring higher on these math tests we were giving it, we could look at how it was reasoning and you could just see that it started to question itself and have really interesting reflection. And that was a moment for me where I was like, wow, like we've, we've uncovered something different. This is gonna be something new. And, and it was just like one of these coming together moments that, that, that was really powerful. Thank you and congrats on releasing this.